Hey guys, so Native Instruments 2.0 software for machine and studio hit yesterday, November 1st. Uh, on time, no delays, always great to see that. Um, we're not gonna get into some testing today, but we're gonna show you how to upgrade the upgrade path. How do you even get to it? Um, not very well explained on the Native Instruments website, so we're gonna get that out of the way. So, first of all, you want to go to nativeinstruments.com. So, we'll be talking about how to upgrade the software to 2.0. That means if you already have Machine Mark 1, Machine Mark 2, Machine Micro, and you might be on version 1.6, uh, 1.7 or the latest version so far 1.8 on Mac or PC. How do you get version 2.0? Well, first of all, I mentioned this before, this is not a free upgrade. It costs $99. If you bought Machine Mark 2 or Micro after October 1st, these upgrades are free for you. So they're not going to charge you. So you have to already own Native Instruments Machine uh, in order to get that $99 2.0 version. You cannot buy it by yourself. You have to already be uh, a member of the club, so to speak. Uh, Native Instruments does not explain that very well. Uh, there's also no demo version, so you can't just demo it. You have to buy it. Um, and I don't think there's a return policy either, so if you don't like it, tough luck. I think you'll like it, though. So first of all, you want to go to nativeinstruments.com uh, and then slash en, that means English, and then you have de for German and so forth. I'm doing this here on a Mac, but no big difference. You might as well do that on a PC. If you are a machine owner, you'll have to go through Service Center. That is installed on your computer as a separate application. It takes care of all of your updates. And as you can see, there's nothing here. So the current version that I have right now, um, there's no upgrades for it. There were a few upgrades for my complete suite that was all in relation to 2.0. So I had about 16 or so updates and they were all making the complete uh, products such as Massive and so forth compatible with 2.0. If you see that and you do not wish to upgrade, don't be alarmed. That just ensures ongoing compatibility. All right. So it's not gonna go through this here at this point. By machine update, by machine micro update. In this case, I am selecting by machine update, very quick path. So with a couple of clicks, you are on the nativeinstruments.com website. And um, well, you gotta get used to it. Let me put it this way. Um, you only have an update option. It's a fairly small download initially, but then it populates the eight gigabytes of sounds after that. Uh, you can also order the product box, which in the United States will cost you $20 more if you like boxes, um, $119 and $99 for um, uh, the download only. Uh, at this point on, you have to add to the shopping cart. Shopping cart seems to be busy, $99. And then you get also complete selection for machine 2.0, full version. Here's where you enter your e-vouchers. Well, a note on these e-vouchers, I had a bunch of these e-vouchers from my previous uh, purchases. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna save them for something big. So I think I had about $140 of vouchers, like four vouchers or so. Uh, only to find out that A, these vouchers expire within three months. They say that, in all fairness, it says it when you receive those vouchers, but also that, uh, that they are only for select products. So uh, Native Instruments decided that these vouchers are not valid for uh, this update, which kind of sucks because, you know, I don't necessarily want to use these vouchers to buy, I don't know, another plugin. I want to be able to buy anything software related and apply that to my purchases. So I could easily have gotten that uh, upgrade for free. It's not happening though. If you go to the checkout, and I haven't logged in here, all right? So they don't know who I am at this point. So 
there we go. So you have to log in, otherwise you can't get the upgrade. They have to verify if you're eligible to it for it. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, if you forgot um, what your uh, email is, it's very easy to see. It is in your service center. If you log in, it's right here. If you forgot the password, well, you can email that password to you. So I'm just gonna grab my email address here. All right, fantastic. So we're gonna log in here. All right, so I'm not gonna save that. Native Instruments Shop. And here we go. So you can place the order. That's how you get to the order process. So it shows that I'm eligible. And also here on the side is, uh, I blocked this out, but here on the side um, is your account information. That's how Native Instruments uh, knows you. So when you download the new version, what happens to the old version? First of all, very, very important question for all of those who upgrade. Is the old version going to be destroyed? Is there danger that I'm losing data? All of these sessions that have been crafted carefully. Well, the good answer, the good news is no, not at all. You will retain your old version, your 1.8, 1.6, 1.7, 1.5, 1.1, whatever you have will remain on your current computer system. Um, and 2.0 will come in as a different program, exactly the same way um, as complete 7, 8, and 9 coexist uh, together. Um, there is no demo version, as I said. This is the demo version for my uh, 1.8 that I currently have. It's not activated uh, on this computer right now. Uh, because I wanted to show you that this window that many of you expect to see won't be here. Okay, so what happens to uh, the old projects that you already have? They will open in uh, Native Instruments Machine 2.0. So everything you produced with uh, your current version, uh, it'll open in 2.0. However, here's a little tip. Once you open it, it will not be backwards compatible with uh, your old software. If you decide it's not for you or you have some operating system challenges, uh, updates, or upgrades uh, that's, uh, that make it not run smoothly. So what I recommend is make a copy, right? So uh, the way you do this, where do you find your, um, where do you find your files? So you go into uh, username in my case, you go to your documents folder, Mac or PC, same thing. Your projects are right here. These are my projects here. Uh, what I would do, the projects that you would like to work with, make a copy, right? So make sure, perhaps create a separate folder and then copy them over. That way nothing can get uh, altered. You can always go back. Uh, very important and of course you can do that with time machine and backup software but sometimes quirkinesses don't show themselves right away that's the thing you know you work on it for you know a few days and then you realize oh you know what that little trick that I did doesn't work I don't expect too many uh, issues but remember we are sort of like uh, testers in a way we're like we're getting all this at the very first beginning um, and sometimes uh, breaking or changing a workflow that is working well and 1.8 is working very well, you wanna be a little bit careful, especially if you're professional uh, and if you're working on releases and things like that, you can't really afford to mess around too much. So that's a word of caution. Protect your data, back up everything first, of course, but uh, make a copy of that file and open it that way. I will leave it at that. We'll obviously do some severe testing I'll try to work with the same files in 1.8 and I compared how they work in 2.0. Just a quick path leading video um, to get you started, where to download it and a couple of things to consider. Uh, if you're ready for it, go ahead, download it and uh, make some great music and let me know how it shapes up. I think the more feedback we're getting, uh, the better. Anyways, Massive Beats out.